Hello, my name is Kevin Girard. I'm the author of the teen fantasy series Connor and the Crossworlds. I'd like to say a special hello to the readers down in the south, also in the northeast, and all over San Diego County. I'm here tonight to tell you about the treasure hunt that is going to take place next January in 2009. This is going to coincide with the story of the third book in the series where Connor and his girlfriend Janine have to search for the five keys of the creators in order to set everything right in the cross worlds. And lo and behold, after much labor, I have the five keys of the creators right here before me. There they are in the actual colors uh, that are depicted in book three. The purple key is the first that is found, and the blazing white key, hot as the sun, is the fifth key that is found. Now, how are you going to find these keys if you want to participate in the treasure hunt? Well, the first thing you're going to have to do is read the books, uh, most definitely book number three, which is going to come out in about one or two months. Uh, the first and most important clue is going to be located within the story in book three. If you read book three, I promise you, you will get a very good general idea of what type of location the keys are in. That's the most important thing. After you read book three, starting in January, on the Connor and the Crossworlds website, a new clue will appear once a week for 12 weeks for each region of the country. One of these keys will be hidden in the Northeast, one of them in the South, one in the Northwest, one in San Diego County, and I'm not quite sure exactly where the fifth key is going to be hidden at this point. But each week, five clues, one for each section of the country, will appear on the website, leading you closer and closer to the key. And when you find the key, this is what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to be encased in. A special secret key box made by the creators of the Crossworlds. You can see the top of the box has Connor and the Crossworlds. Inside the box there will be a key that will denote which key it is, and there will be a message on the inside of the box. You have unearthed one of the five keys of the creators. Its value cannot be estimated. Guard it well. The circle of evil seeks its power. Whoever finds one of the key boxes will be able to keep the key and the box. They'll receive signed copies of all five books in the Connor and the Crossworld series. They'll also receive $500 in cash and a Macintosh, I'm sorry, an Apple laptop computer and an iPod. Remember, read the third book for the all-important first clue. And in January, start watching the Connor and the Crossworlds website for the important clues leading you to where the key boxes are located. I hope you all have a lot of fun, and I have had a great deal of, of fun putting this treasure hunt together. Thank you.